welcome back to my channel as you guys see by the title of today's video I am actually going to be reviewing two types of trainers from DHK so I have some Prada trainers and then I obviously have the very famous yeah, Balenciaga Triple S trainers and I am actually just going to review them and kind of say you know, what I like about them and obviously give you prices and details about them all because a lot of people have been asking me to you have a few trainers on DHK and yeah, these are absolutely perfect for this video so before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, also subscribe and without further ado let's go on with the video. I deeply apologise if I sound really nasally. I have a bit of a cold and I just sound like a man pretty much and also in my hair I look like a poodle. I don't know why that is but I literally look like a poodle but anyway I have two pairs of trainers, the Balenciaga Triple S's, these are like the nudie white pair with the clear sole and then I have the Prada platform trainers, these are really cool so I will actually put the name of the sellers on the screen now for you guys but these the trainers are very chunky and if you like chunky trainers you need to keep on watching this video so first off the Prada trainers, I'd say since Molly May has been about, the Prada has made a big comeback and I actually really like Prada as a brand, I actually really like them. So here is the box of the Prada trainers, how nice is this box, it is obviously slightly damaged um, but it's come nicely packaged, it also comes with a dust bag as well which says Prada. And it also has a little kind of thank you note in there which is really cute as well. Now, these trainers are beautiful because they're the first, they're like a nudie tan colour. And I absolutely love my nudie tans. Now, they are very weighty which is good because the platform trainers obviously have to be very weighty because they are chunky trainers. And they also have the Prada Milano logo on there. It's got the Prada on the bottom and for reference these are a size a euro 37 a uk size 4 i would say that these trainers are fairly good quality i have tried them on and i do have a really narrow feet and my feet do kind of slide a little bit out of them not too much they also say prada on the back but the laces are very good quality they're not too long compared to the typical Balenciaga laces where they're literally so long but yeah I love these trainers a lot I put the set and the price on the screen and if you're looking for something kind of different I recommend these trainers they do also have them in a lot of different colours like black, white, blue, pink I think but the nude is one of my favourite colours for kind of clothing and footwear at the moment so I recommend I love them a lot and Again, Prada is another one of my favourite brands again. And now, time for Balenciaga. So, these trains come with a dust bag. It just says Balenciaga on there. It's honest, it looks exactly like the real dust bag. It's really good quality. I absolutely love their Triple S trainers. I actually have a pink, black and white pair. And I literally wear them all the time. And to be honest, they are slightly wrecked. Because I just wear them all the time. And plus, they have been in the wash a couple of times and the glue has kind of come away a little bit so it was time to get some new ones so I've got these absolutely stunning Balenciaga Triple S trainers as I've already said they are either white and nudie pair and they've got like a clear kind of sole but how cool is that one thing I will say is I can see a tiny bit of glue like on there but it isn't too noticeable and the Balenciaga logo is slightly fake they're looking yeah, the real one is more kind of thinner uh, writing but nevertheless they do feel very heavy very good quality and they also say Balenciaga on the bottom I actually got these I actually got these in a size Euro 36 because I really like to size down in the triple S trainers because they are so big that if I got a normal size which is a UK for but it would literally be so big but yeah I'll put the name of the seller and the price on here again 
but these are very very alike to the genuine the Balenciaga Tripolesses. The laces are fairly long but they're really good quality laces and the quick tip is to never put these in the wash even if you have the urge to put them in the wash but please do not because they will kind of wreck your trainers and this bit it will kind of crease over time as well so it just kind of make them it lasts longer so not put them in the wash but I think if I, if I had to rate these out of 10 the quality wise and the looks wise a 9 out of 10 I love them only downside is there's a tiny bit of glue but obviously you design the replicas are not always perfect you know and probably for the proud ones as lovely as they are if for my little narrow feet, I'll probably have to give them a eight and a eight out of ten because I do genuinely love them. They're just they're not the most supportive trainers, and my feet are probably slightly too small for these. But I will I will definitely try and wear these if I can because obviously they are lovely trainers. But anyway, guys, here is the end of my little review video. I know it, it was quite a short one, but. I like to keep it short and sweet, you know. I'll hopefully be bringing you know, some more kind of DHG hauls in the future. You make sure to click the link in the description to be able to get the links to these two trainers because you cannot miss out. Honestly, you know, these I've got to be my favourite. I'm sorry, Prada, but these triple S's are literally my favourite trainers in the world. But if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.